Okay, this is the next installment of using this type of loom. Uh, and the other pieces, we've already strung this up, we've tied it. Here are our knots again. We've already, already kind of placed out where our pieces are going to go. We said we need four individual elements beaded, so uh, we've got that all laid out. Uh, the next step is to actually tie these together and get the beadwork started. I've already done one, and this is another side step. I use, personally, I use two needles uh, when I do my loom work, which is a little bit different than the one needle that comes out and back on itself. Uh, the two needles will actually go against each other throughout the whole piece and helps keep the beadwork nice and even, in my experience. Um, I've already tied one on, and uh, all I did was simply cut my thread and uh, hitch it onto the outside line. I've done that here. You're going to want to cut your thread in this particular case. We've got some Nymo here. This is uh, size B. And uh, I'm using 11 size beads. So I've got a little dish with some of my colors already picked out here. And uh, I've got some needles, uh, size 12s. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to cut it however long I need it and I'm going to run it and, and put my needle onto it. So in this particular method I'm going to put the needle in the middle and then I'm going to end up with my two ends met up here in the end like this. Now I'm going to tie my threads onto the outside edges of the work and this is going to be the only knots in the entire project up until the very end when I finish. Uh, other than that, when I when I put new threads into the work, there's not really going to be any knots uh, needed or anything like that the way we do it. I used to tie knots for everything, and in all honesty, it just kind of slows things down. It's not about how it looks, it just slows it down. So, I was taught to try to do it this way, uh, so I found it worked a lot better. Now, I've got my two threads tied in, and they're ready to go. One thing to keep in mind when you start, you're going to want one thread longer than the other to start with. That'll make sense when we start running out of thread throughout the project and we need to add more threads. Uh, because if you time the same length, when you run out of thread at the same time, you're going to have to add both at the same time. So it's easier to do one at a time because in this method, they're all going to end up feeding right out of this side of the beadwork. And, and you don't want them happening at the same time if you can help it. So okay, I've got two knots on the outside lines and it's just a simple knot to grab hold of the thread. It doesn't have to be complicated or anything like this. These tails are actually going to get buried in the beadwork itself and so now all I need to do is take my thread here and I'm going to uh, uh, run my beads, which I've already done at this point. So whatever your design calls for, uh, you're gonna you're gonna lace up. Now this is the hardest row of the entire project because all of this is spread out wide. You're gonna be adding your your beads here. Um, getting them into this first row is gonna take a little bit more time than you're gonna find. You're gonna need anywhere else in the entire project because once this row is set, then the width of the belt, everything that you're doing is pretty much determined, and is and is gonna be done. These beads are going to set up right here like this in between these threads. And as you're going to go, that bottom thread's going to bring it together. This top thread is going to come over them and lock these beads in. So you're going to bring that, that next needle just over the top of these, uh, on top of these cotton threads and through these beads. So in a sense, they're going to lock themselves in and I'm going to go all the way through all of these beads and fit them into this row uh, to get that finished. When I'm finished doing that, I'm going, to I'm going to pull both these threads, this bottom one as well as this top one, and that will cinch this closed nice and tight and bring me to the, to the width of my beadwork, which is where we're going to start in the next movie. Don't forget to use wax on your thread. That's very important. Uh, I use beeswax. I think other people use maybe Thread Heaven or some other kind of uh, uh, thread conditioner. Uh, if you're looking for beeswax, make sure you get the stuff that's nice and sticky and good instead of the real hard and crusty stuff. Uh, maybe just personal preference, but I find that works a lot better when it makes 
uh, the threads it helps protect them, lubricate them, and keep them straight and clean. So with all that said, I think that's it for this little session, and uh, we'll start up with this row finished in the next one.